Well, hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So uh, it's end of June and uh, temperatures have been unseasonably high. Uh, while the rest of the nation's getting pounded with rain here in Central Texas, still drought conditions. So we had a hurricane roll in off the coast here a couple few days ago. So there's a little moisture in the ground. So I'm gonna get up in there and mow the pastures while I have a chance. I wanna get rid of the dove weed. And uh, this, this here is dove weed, let me show you. So last year I mowed the uh, silverleaf nightshade out and I did a good job. I don't see very much, but this year I want to so, uh, I want to mow the dove weed out and uh, that dove weed I'm going to leave it back in the woods because it's good for the birds. But uh, you know you, it kills the grass underneath of it. Uh, so I mowed half of the field and uh, brought my my uh, mower in and see a couple of things wrong here. I I see that the uh, the type uh, type one uh, pins, they're loose in there. If you see, they're they're coming loose on both ends. So I'm going to tighten those up. I'm going to grease everything up. And this here wheel is mighty wobbly, so I'm going to take a look and see if it has a grease somewhere I could put some grease in it. Uh, you know, I see uh, there might be there might be a uh, grease cert somewhere in there. Yeah, right there. But uh, it's not here that it's wobbling. It's down there in the axle. So looky there, it's pretty loose. So I don't know if it had bearings that wore out of it or, or what's the bushings or what. So we'll take a look at that. Anyway, it's it's after seven, so I'm it's okay for me to start uh, mowing because there'll be some dew. And I try to make sure the grass always has moisture uh, when I mow. <laughs> Otherwise, it gets burned. And I'm mowing low this year because I'm trying to mow the, the, uh, the dove weed out. So I'm mowing low. Normally, I mow pretty high. And so the poor grass is going to have to make do. Let me go ahead and fix this tractor up. or anything in there. Get a little I already greased up the uh, PTO shaft before I hooked it up for this mowing. So when I'm done mowing the fields and I pull that off, I'll grease it again where I can get to it. And uh, that way the PTO shaft will stay greased up. All right, let me go up there and mow a little bit. Make some laps around, get that done. So uh, I put a couple of turns on those nuts, but I'm gonna have to get another big pipe wrench. And one of the safety pins is sheared off the pin. So uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and fix that before I can tighten it up on the one side. So it's a little tighter. Uh, I'm hoping to finish up before I lose those uh, pins in the, in the hay field, but uh, I'll know as soon as they're gone, that's for sure. All right, let me get going. All right, getting the PTO on is two phase. First, you, you select the PTO that you want. This is the back end PTO. And then uh, what gear you'll be in. And uh, I like to, when I go along the fence, low and, and be careful. But the rest of the time I can use high and second. I won't overrun the PTO in the back. I want to make sure that that pulls and cuts right so I, I don't try not to overrun that back. Then here on the dash is the marks for the uh, 5400 or uh, 540 RPM for the PTO and uh, that'll turn on the, the thing. So I've got a little dove weed right there. I'm going to go ahead and set it up. So there it's on. I'm fine with that. Let's turn it on. 
you'll hear it click on in the back. Whoa. There, the PTO light lights up. And then I just give it throttle. I have throttle on my foot, but I, I use this throttle right here. I listen for weird noises, banging, like if the uh, blades got tangled. If not, off I go. So let me show you here, rotate. So see that, I just mowed up and I'm mowing at night so that there's some moisture. And then you can see the dividing line where there's uh, decent grass and where the dove weed's choking everything out. And the dove weed right there, see? So I'll chase that all the way around right now, but I'm working on that field over there, but I'll, I'll mow here for a little bit just to get things dialed in and uh, probably put on some music because the mower will be too loud. But like I said, you know, a decent field. Uh, hopefully I'm cutting it before the dove weed goes to seed this year. And uh, I see the grass seeds already up. So let me show you the grass seed. Hold on a minute. So right there, you see the grass seed on the grass, right? So the grass seed has already come in and the dove weed is just thinking about it. So I, I'm hoping that I get it before it's, it's green and, and uh, uh, finished up and knock all this down. So a field full of weeds and a field full of not. I don't spray, so uh, you know I'm hoping to get that around. This spring, I'll go ahead and uh, till everything till it looks half to dead and reseed. And hopefully the grass will grow up faster than the weeds and choke out the weeds. But anyway, let me go ahead and mow. So I wasn't able to get them bolts tight enough on the back to my liking, but uh, they are what they are. And I'll just accept them and keep my eyeball on them. That one's not even compressed, but what's happening is this bushing here is, is broken and spinning around in there. So I'm not able to get a grip on it and tighten it up even with the chain wrench. All right, let me get mowing here. The sun is something fierce here in Texas, really something.
Well, I'm in for the night. Uh, you know, farmers have been mowing grass at night for a long, long time. There's some thoughts that, uh, oh, the hay has a higher sugar content if you cut, cut it at night. Now, I think it's just because it's all the daylight that the farmer has. And he just has to keep working and working and working way into the early hours. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. So, uh, But uh, in my particular case, I'm doing it because it's all the time in which I've had. I work a full-time job, and then when I, I get time, I mow. But I also mow when, in Texas when there's moisture. So uh, we just had a hurricane blow through. I've mentioned that. We had a hurricane blow through. So, uh, you know, I have an opportunity to mow and I've still got dew on the ground. So, but uh, starting a week after this, it's 101, triple digit all July is what they're telling us. So I'm hoping that there's some rain come in July a couple few times or else what I mowed and I mowed it real short to get rid of the dove weed. Uh, I'm going to burn that grass up. So let's hope not. Uh, that field's a uh, junk field that I've been redeeming through hard work and through hard work and dedication. So uh, if I burn it, I burn it, but I hope not to. So anyway, all done. Going to grab myself a late night dinner and uh, uh, shower up. But uh, uh, like, subscribe, follow me along. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.